Hello everyone, my name is David Tron and welcome back to a brand new video. So yeah, we're back on the farm and we got a load of tool upgrades, garden upgrades, a load of upgrades. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's finally time that we make our squash armor. So I have everything we need to upgrade our current armor, which is the crappie. And I say, let's just get into it. So um, there's the squash helmet. There's the squash chest plate. And lastly, the squash leggings. There we go. Look at this. And we put it on and there we go. Also, we got a couple of really good requests here. So if we go to the iron monger, if we give him eight golden enchanted carrots, we get the green bandana. Now this is the best pet item for farming we can get and i've already grinded the golden carrot so here we go now we have the green bandana and my little elephant boy there you go we're gonna confirm and there we go now he's got the green bandana let me show you what the green bandana does so the green bandana grants four farming fortune for each of your farming or garden levels and i'm garden level 10 at the moment so i'm getting 40 farming fortune which is 10 more than i would have had anyway with the yellow bandana and this will go up a little bit more because i need to get farming or garden level 14 so it's still a little bit to improve upon but let's go and the next one is from the royal resident where if we give them a polished pump they'll give us an overgrown grass which is one of the best reforges for armor i'm pretty sure so i think we're going to give it to the rancher boots i mean they've been with us since pretty much the start so i think it's a finally time we give the rancher boots a much needed upgrade so here we go for 1500 and there we go mossy rancher's boots excellent look at that so we're going to need to unlock a lot more plots to actually get the fermento armor and it costs a a pretty penny i'm not gonna lie a lot of compost is needed to get these outer ones and i think it's time we finally upgrade our composter so for the first one we need enchanted hay bales for the multi-drop which i'm very looking forward to we need just basic enchanted baked potatoes so and so just by luck i have enough hay bales so let's upgrade the speed and then we're going to upgrade the multi-drop there we go and damn oh it changes every time oh okay i thought it'd just be an increase of what it wanted before but this is interesting i could actually keep going with this let's get the other stuff here we go get it to level two sweet so and he's 32 hay pails and two enchanted baked potatoes okay i can get the baked potato one there we go multi-drop three and now we need one polished pumpkin okay there's your one polished pumpkin and yeah that's all our copper done so we can't upgrade this anymore but yeah i'll probably be upgrading this a lot maybe off camera i might just do a little clip and just in insert in somewhere and i forgot to mention what the perks are for the squash armor so if we farm sugarcane cacti mushrooms or never what we have an insanely low chance to drop for mentos and i'm pretty sure it grants 40 farming fortune to those crops or something like that i'm not really sure what that last part means but yes the next set of armor is the fermento armor the big daddy of all the armors and it requires these condensed fermentos which are nine fermentos which is kind of cheaper than the other ones because before you needed 10 of the special crop i guess you could say to make it but you only need nine this time so yeah it shouldn't be too bad and there we go we got our first fermento of the profile big nice okay so i've been smacking sugarcane for a good while now and we have enough enchanted sugarcane to actually upgrade this thing so it already upgraded itself to epic rarity and now we're gonna upgrade it to legendary with all this enchanted sugarcane this is 24 million coins by the way but it's going to be worth it because it will allow us to get more sugarcane faster and there we go with this we get the collection and then and then, then that, yeah you know what i mean and we gain eight farming fortune for sugar canes per digit on your collection minus four and i have 32 apparently so i'll take it there we go and i should point out i do have turbo cane five now on this which is very nice and i'm also cultivating eight and i'm not too far away from cultivating nine but i think i know what cultivating 10 is and that's 100 million canes so oh 
boy, I'm looking forward to that. Also, whilst I was farming the cane, I got <laughs> this many fermentos and oh my goodness, I, I can already make, I think, three condensed fermentos. So if we just grab all of these ones, there we go. And we go here, condensed fermentos. There we go. We already have three. So technically, we can already make one piece of fermento armor. I say technically because we still need to get the actual bits and pieces for the fermento armor. So this is where we're going to start making more plots for the new crops. So here's our garden layout so far. And if we go here, 48 compost, there we go. And then we just need to go clear it. And we can probably grab one more, which I think we'll add here because i do want to kind of ex extend the pumpkin farm yeah that should be good so let's go clear these two out right so both the slots are now cleared and for the first one which we'll probably add here we're gonna make a mushroom plot and i have a, a fair few mushrooms already in my sack so this should be fully placed i'm hoping anyway so let's, let's just have a look oh, yeah not not a bad not a bad farm i mean they could have added a bit here but yeah and i'm i'm guessing these will sort of fill up i guess over time but yeah whilst that's building let's go grab our new tool because i have two diamond oh, diamond gold medals and we're gonna grab the fungi cutter right it would help if i had the jacobs tickets and there we go we got our fungi cutter so yeah this has two modes it has brown mushroom mode and red mushroom mode so i probably will do a bit of editing to this plot so i'd have half with brown mushroom half with red mushroom that way i don't have to keep swapping over and over and over again it would be quite tedious i can imagine but yeah let's go throw some enchants on this and let's whack a cultivating book on there there we go okay so a couple hours later the farm is finally done so there isn't enough plots to have equal amounts so i had to split the the middle plot in half which is actually kind of perfect because there's an equal amount on each side now so they ha both have seven and a half plots each and it's automatic i guess you could say so all i have to do is change my binds and just basically move in the direction and what i found is 120 speed probably 140 i can imagine at an angle was 75 degrees and i'm holding w and a and just holding left click obviously when i'm actually doing this in a farming contest or something i'd have my left click on the space bar so i can just one hand it and yeah it works on the way coming back so when i get all the way to the end I'm at a 75 degree angle and all I have to do is hold D and keep smacking it. So yeah, it's perfect now. It's fully set up and that's amazing. Now it's time to set up the other farm. So in this plot, we're going to put never war. I know I should put cactus in here, but uh, yeah, I'm saving the, the, the best for last, I guess you could say. But whilst that's building, we can go over here and grab ourselves a mathematical hoe because if we look go all the way over here, we can make a Newton never war hoe. So we're going to grab one of them and I don't have the required there we go now i have the jacob ticket so now i just need a bunch of nether warp which i should have yeah here we go uh, it's not uh, oh it's it's being taken up by the building of the thing ah see i didn't think this one through like i i never do to be fair but yeah this is kind of the same as the other one kind of the same as the mushroom one layout so oh, i'm gonna have to set this all up again aren't i can i be bothered right now not really i'll probably save it for later but yeah it's same sort of style and we actually have to buy a different sack for this which is in my opinion completely stupid if we go over here the never warp pouch that like, is like, why why do we have to buy a completely different sack for never warp but here we are so it, it is what it is so i guess i'll just wait for this to grow then use my my normal hoe on it and just harvest it up and then i can start placing it over then eventually craft the nether wart hoe okay so it's been a while so we're gonna grab the nether wart pouch i really didn't want to buy this but you know what i'm i don't want to place them all so i've set the nether wart farm similarly to the mushroom farm and it's, it's, it's exactly the same except instead of half blocks here they are just solid blocks so i can stand right here and just go across i'll give you all the speeds and all that after i've planted it all and gave it a little test but yeah let's get these planted so from what i've sort of discovered if i set a 90 degree angle it could be minus it can be plus it's, it's no biggie and set my speed to 80 and i just go down a straight line i don't have replenish on this but you get what i mean just go down here at 80 speed at a 90 degree angle and that should be pretty good and obviously get replenish on your tools so they come back right and i think it's time we make this mathematical hoe or pythagorean hoe newton that's it newton and there we go 
both there's the Newton Neverwart hoe and to upgrade this we need four stacks of Enchanted Neverwart and 16 a stack of Jacob's tickets that's not too bad actually I think we'll get that quite quick but yeah let's get some cocoa beans so we can get replenish on this bad boy all right let's put it on there we go now we got replenish on this and we'll go ahead and throw some other enchants on this okay so I found a harvesting six book in one of my chests and I have a cultivating book on there so it's going to be a lot less cheaper to apply so there we go and now we get cultivating and harvesting six on our Newton Never Waho. there we go and one thing I didn't realize I would have done is get a silver medal in mushroom so whilst I was actually taking down the farm I actually participated in this and I got silver so there we go happy days and we also participated in another cane farm and there we go we don't really need the book anymore goodbye so yeah i can't complain okay so it's just farming the mushrooms and i got this thing called burrowing spores and this goes farming fortune a, a good amount I, uh, okay i mean damn that gives a lot more for epic rarity than the stuff we got on so i say we'll put it on our leggings since they don't have a reforge at the moment oh um, because i'm a dumb dumb i didn't read it and it's for equipment so uh let's throw it on let's throw it on our bracelet since that hasn't got a reforge yet so there we go and borrowing spore there we go finally so there we go happily take that <laughs> big nice <laughs> Okay, so it's taken me a while, but we do have enough enough compost to buy another slot. So I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Right, let's go clean this out. Okay, so let's configure this plot. So we're going to put the last crop we need, which is cacti. There we go. So I have no cacti, I don't think, in my bag. So I'm going to have to go grind some manually at the hub. But yeah, whilst that's built, we might as well grab the cacti knife. And I always forget that we need Jacob's tickets. But there we go. I've had some stashed so there we go there's our cacti knife and i actually do have a book for this yeah i think i got this from the alchemist so there we go we've got turbo cacti one and we'll go throw all the other enchants on it the cultivating and all that so let's go and there we go our blessed cactus knife with all those enchants on it sweet okay so this is how the cacti plot is set up and it's a bit a bit odd but i'm pretty sure you're just meant to like stand here at a really high speed and just smack them across like this because it is instant so yeah i'm pretty sure you're just meant to go across like this and then once you get to the end because you can still reach that back block there you just go all the way back this way and then you rinse and repeat down here so yeah hopefully it's not too bad obviously i'll get this all set up when i get enough cacti but yeah that's sweet we have all the gardening plots now for all the different types of uh, crops and that's amazing so a lot of you have asked and i'm going to answer now with like the full version of it so the texture packs i am using is the faithful texture pack which is used for the base blocks like dirt and all that and for all the sky block related stuff like the tools and that tools and armor i'm using the, the first sky reborn texture pack which has just been updated to 1.7 and it's absolutely amazing because all the farming tools have had a re retexturing which is great and even these get a, a little upgraded texture when you upgrade them which is absolutely fantastic fantastic and the amazing thing is all the rift items have been textured as well so pretty much everything has a texture now which is absolutely amazing i'll leave a link in the description if you want to use this yourself just bear in mind if you do have a base texture pack like i have then you want to get the overlay version but if you don't have a base texture pack then you can get the other version which comes with its own textures so yeah now it's time to grind for the fermento gear so in between videos i'll be grinding out compost so i can get the rest of the plots because i do want to get infinite farms which means if i by the time i've harvested one plot completely of its stuff it will automatically regen at the start so i don't have drops missing in between so i get a full harvest each time i go across and yeah if i do end up mate redesigning all the farms i'll do that as a little time lapse for the next video and i'll also be upgrading the composter in between videos as well i'll, I'll probably just get, get a little clip of it and add it into the next one but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing off cam to sort of like boost the progression a little bit but yeah i am going to end this video here so thank you so much for watching if you did like this video smash that like button down below and remember to subscribe to my channel to more future content like this make sure you go down the description check out my social media make sure you join the viking side regard community discord and yeah i'll see you in my next video goodbye everyone and may the force be with you